Hail Tabata Morning to you. Holy crap, what a mess. With junk everywhere. I don't really need sunglasses in here. Oh, what are we doing today? Let's see. First, I'm going to put some drill bits in the drill bit box. Because they were sitting on the front counter. We've got a bit that's going to go up in there somewhere. Hopefully, it'll be found again. Remember that? Pop that bolt out, toss that, get it out of the way. Well, we're getting a little bit closer to working on this beast. A little bit, not much. Today we're going to do some stuff to the Jeep. I'm going to pull that valve cover off. So I get the Christmas lights off the house still. Rise. <laughs> Four liter inline six overhead valve. Ninety five to ninety one. Valve cover gasket. Good, expensive, heavy rubber one. Also, picked up a set of spark plugs. And Bosch, 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 Bosch Platinums. Ooh, fancy. Gap on the uh, dude I bought this thing from said he put new plugs and wires on it, but it seems to be getting harder and harder to start. So I think we're going to go ahead and flip this thing around and uh, get her angled the right direction. It's only about 41 out today, so it's not exactly warm. This beautiful Sunday. Check this out. Be a multi part video today. Let's flip her around, huh? Put the parking brake in place. 
<laughs> yeah, I'm gonna pull the valve cover off. Let me see about cleaning these little buggers. Because they leak. I know these things leak anyway, but that's what I bought the new gasket for. And I bought an expensive one. I didn't bring my knife out with me. rubber one with the uh, metal core. Maybe that'll help keep the uh, leakage down to a minimum, at least from the valve cover. And gasket furnishing this application replaces the OE pre applied RTV silicone sealant to sustain the lower use of the existing cover. Scrape it, clean it, put it back on. Where did he come from? He's hopping the fence. What are you doing out here? Huh? Shut the camera off and pull the valve cover and see what we can figure out. Me, I should be able to get around the hose. Oh, there's a bolt down there. Interesting. What's that from? Oh, there's a bracket back there that didn't get, uh... Huh. Right there. It's supposed to go in. I'll be taking care of that here shortly. The belt's still in good shape. You can see the oil leaking there. It is a common problem with these four liters. Looks like I've been running this thing off-road a little bit. Everything else still seems to be attached, and... Secured. Alrighty, we'll shut the camera off and go from there. I'll show you what we got afterwards. Bye bye.